Hey, what's going on? Matthew Taming here. Welcome to another Joomla video review and demo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own e-learning platform. So maybe you have courses that you want to sell online, or maybe you're an institution or a company that want to implement courses on your website for your employees. Uh, this is a really great way for you to do so. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to first give you a review of what this uh, extension has to offer is called Sheikah and then we're going to take a look at the front end demo and also the back end demo to see if this is a good fit for what you're looking for so let's get started first now by the way this is developed by the company uh, called Tech Joomla so you go to techjoomla.com and again this is Sheikah so let's take a look now at some of the features and the benefits for this here okay it gives you a list of them right here but let's just kind of scroll through here so if you're thinking about selling courses online or you want to start an online university for your students, for your school, uh, for your ministry, your church, organization, all those things. This is a really powerful extension that gives you everything that you need in order to do so. And the first thing here is that it has the flexible course and content management. And what that means is that you have a lot of access control. You can structure how your students see things with different modules. You can do drag and drop creation for your courses. You can do uh, prerequisite learning, like a learning path. And what a learning path is, it lets the student go through a path, through a system, you know, systemic or systematic way of learning something. So you can have, uh, you know, lesson one, section one, or section one, chapter one, one A, one B, and you can allow your students to be able to learn in that system, which is really great for them. Uh, and then next thing to us, it has tracking and resume support. You know, when your students are learning, you want them to be able to track what they're doing and they can pick up where they left off. You know, sometimes you start a course and then you want to get back to it. Maybe you get back to it a day later. A week later, sometimes even months later on, you want for them to be able to pick back up where they started. And then, of course, you have you can set the start and end date. So if you have a specific course that you want to release for a period of time, you can make sure that that course start at a certain date. So those that register from that date and it ends on a certain date. That's another really great tool that you can have at your disposal. And also, of course, you can structure your courses into groups, into lessons and assessments, give your students everything that they need. So next, let's take a look at the content and the authoring. And this allows you to be able to upload, you know, videos. You can use SCORM. You can use text and media documents you can embed links you can give feedback you can have different files incorporated in there now this is very important because as an instructor as a teacher you're going to want to upload documents for your students to get access to sometimes you want them to get access to certain content right that content could be audio it can be video so if you have something that you want to share with them let's say it's on youtube or it's on vimeo or other um, sites you can give them access to that and you can also use HTML5 to upload some zip packages directly to the users. And all of this is done through a secure uh, platform or back end. And then you have PDF, PowerPoint, and other things, lessons that you can be able to do so. And you can get this incorporated to with box.com. And you can incorporate different links. You can get feedback forms integrated directly on the site so that way people get feedbacks and, and what they're learning and it can help you as you build and you can be able to make files downloaded so students can be able to download exercises they can you know so they can have access to it offline i know this is very helpful when data is an issue so if you're offering courses for international students or you're building a platform where data rates are so high well they can download it and they can have access to that material later on and next let's take a look at the engagement uh for social and certificates you can have the like and dislike button for the feedbacks you can help the students create, you know, goals and reminders so that way they they're motivated to complete something, they're inspired to keep going. You can look at your activity stream, all the different activities that's going on, the completion time, awards, certificates. You can get a, a snapshot of all the things that are going on on your dashboard and also content engagement bar. You can see how how well are your lessons being received? 
you know, sometimes as instructors or teachers, you just upload things and people don't really take the time to say, okay, let me see, are my students really learn? What are their thoughts and feedback about this particular course or this lesson? And then you have comments or discussions. So they can be able to start comments. They can have discussions about a particular subject. You have course groups and discussion. Now, this is really great because it allows for you to interact with your students. So it's not just a one sided thing where you just upload a bunch of stuff and then they just get access to it and nothing. If they have questions, they can ask, they can talk to you about it. It has profile and avatar integration so they can put a picture on their profile. And this uses social networks like Gravatar, which is easy to get set up and they can take notes while they are learning the course. So if someone doesn't have anything to write a note on, well, while they're taking the course, they can be able to take notes as well. And of course you have social, uh, native social sharing, like, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, and other uh, social media platforms. So now let's just take a look at the assessment engines. So you have different types of questions that you can put out there. One of the things that you do as a online teacher is that you want to give an assessment to see where your students are, what you, what they need help with to get their feedback. You can attach media files for the assessment. You can do objective and some, you know quizzes. You can do quizzes. You can do exams. You can do a mixture of different things. You can do time limits. So if you wanted to do a quiz that's based on time, you can do a quiz that, okay, they have 15 minutes to complete this quiz or this exam. And after 15 minutes, they can't, you know, move forward anymore. And you can do, you have different ex uh, exams. You can uh, make sure that they have the support that they need. So this is a really awesome way for you to provide quality assessments to see how well your students are doing. And let's take a look now at the reports and dashboard. It gives you a dashboard for the admin a dashboard so that the teachers, the students can see what's going on. Teachers can be able to see reports. How well are your students doing? Again, when you're creating an online school, it's so that people can learn something, so that they can gain something from it. And you have access control. You can determine and decide who get access to what material. You know, you can CVS export CVS documents. You could also import them. You can assign different groups to different people which make things a lot easier. And then of course you have the user interface. It's very clean, uh, simple and easy to navigate. You have different modules, you have different playlists where students can create playlists to see uh, specific courses that they're taking. Uh, and it's very interactive too. You know, as you're going to see, we'll take a look at it. And then we have the e-commerce part. You can monetize your contents by selling your contents on there. You can make some contents free and then you can do samples that are paid. So if they wanted to get, let's say a few lessons for free, they can get it. And if they wanted to pay for the rest, of course they can do that. You can have enroll later on, so they can enroll for the courses later on. You can have a uh, e-commerce report and this accept multiple payment gateways. So you have PayPal uh, to check out Stripe and so many others that's out there. That's a really great for you to monetize your skill set. And you can also set limits in terms of access. So if you wanted to sell a course where you're giving it for free for two weeks or for one month or whatever that time frame is, you can set a periodic time where say for the next week, you can get access to this course for free. But after that, this is how much it's going to cost. And next we'll take a look at integration. One of the things that I really love about Joomla is that it allows you to integrate with other third party extension, meaning uh, if you want to integrate with like a social network, like a Jom Social, Easy Social, uh, Jade Ticket, these are all ex other extensions that you can incorporate into this platform, uh, which gives you so much more that you can you can add to it. You have Jade Like integration. Now, we're going to take a look at some of this later on. And let's take a look at the admin control. So you have a native Joomla access control. You can do what's called ACL access control levels, meaning that you can decide who get access to what and who can see what. So if you have a section of your site that you don't want the general public to see, you want either just your professors or your teachers to see, you can create access just for that, that no one else but those, um, they see that. If you want something where just certain students are able to get access to it when they register, well, they can. you can do that as well. You have media stores, you can store your media, you can use Amazon S3 service to do so. And of course, this is GDPR compliance. And you can set up a, a hierarchy um, and Joomla user groups, as I mentioned here. And also for the developers out there, you can take advantage of it. Uh, if you have, have developers that know what they're doing, 
you can create plugins, you can customize more things, you can add more features if you think you need them or you can take things that you don't think you need on there with the help of a developer. So now let's take a look at the demo for the front end. And here you have the demo for the front end. So you can click here, you can see they have different courses library. You have the pin view and then you have the course, the blog view, and then you have the card view. So these are all different ways that you can show your courses and you, they can search for the course. They can search free or they can search for paid. You select the different categories. You can create as many categories as you need to. So if this is for an institution, if this is for a company, or if this is for an individual that don't just want to put something out there, if you offer courses in different categories, you can do that. And you can also choose here for instructors, you know, select the teacher's form. It shows the courses. So let's click for this one, for example, and it's going to show you this lesson here is locked. You can click to see this one is locked. So if they want to get access to it, they would have to pay for it. Again, as I mentioned before, you can have free lessons and you can also have paid lessons. So you have the login here to log in to see what that looks like. So let's log in now uh, on this part and see what this looks like. Once you've logged in, it gives you, uh, you can do a little bit more. You can see you can set goal and you can enroll. So as you set your goals, you can be able to, uh, the system will let you know, are you meeting those goals? How things are going? Um, so it's a really great way. It's a really awesome way for teachers and for students uh, to be able to, you know, kind of manage themselves and keep them motivated, you know, because that's what they need. If they see that they're getting access to something that's going to help them, then of course they want to keep learning. And then once they click on buy now, they can choose their plan. You can set plan for six months or one year or monthly or whatever time frame that you choose for them. Let's take a look here at their certificates. It is going to show them all the certificates that they have. They can add training records. So anytime that they complete this, they're going to get a certificate and they can be able to use that certificate, you know, for um, different things. So there's just an example here, certificate of completion, which really helps out because people can actually get jobs with certificates from, you know, certain institutions. So this is another great thing, something that you can offer to them. You have the other access for the students. So let's get access students here. And the student can see all the courses that they are enrolled in. They can see the start date, the end date. They can see the status and any other action that's needed is going to show up on here. This is all the courses that this particular student is taking. They can jump to a specific lesson if they need to. They can select the specific course that they're taking. And it's going to show them everything in this course here. And then, of course, you have you manage uh, your lessons. So that one is not there. Go to team. OK, so let's go back here. So this is a simple, simple setup. You can add training records. So I just wanted to give you an idea for the front. And now let's take a look at the admin area. This is the back end of Joomla and it shows the site owner what's going on with their, you know, with the platform. They can be able to see the users. So we we'll go here. And let's go to Shika, go to dashboard, you can click on it, you can go to dashboard. So this shows you an overview of everything that's going on. So you get to see the details, you see how many students you have, how many orders you have, how much revenue you've generated, how many free courses and paid courses. So it gives you a detailed breakdown of everything. And you can be able to create as many categories as you need to. So again, if you're an institution, you can build a category for every program that you, your college, university, church, or business has to offer. And then you can upload those courses here. So you go to new, and then you can put the course name there. You can upload, you can choose if this is a certificate course, complete lessons. How do you want them to get the certificate? Do you want it to be complete lessons, past lessons? And you go to course price and you can select the different levels. You can choose any type of integration that you have. So let's close that out here. And then you can also create different field groups. So different field groups are, are, are great because you can have courses group, let's say for marketing, for you put all the course marketing course under that group. You have for new students, all the courses for new students. I'm just giving an example, but that's just some of the things you can be able to do with it. Then you have the courses fills where you can be able to create different fills. You have the lessons category. If you wanted to build lessons, then this is how you come in here. You just create your categories for each lesson. So 
as your instructors or as your, your teachers are uploading or creating this stuff, they can be able to do that here. I mean, they, they can manage their lessons here as well, the different types. Let's go to create lesson. They can choose the type of lesson that they want to create. Do they want to use SCORM, documents, events, HTML5, text and media, video, or external tools? So if they use any one of these, then of course they would have to just put the information here. The lesson format, they can do all the lessons here. Now, by the way, they can do this too on the front end. You know, the lesson format, the lesson files, all that stuff can uh, be done, you know, put whatever name that you have. All that stuff can be done and choose your format. You want to put a Vimeo or a YouTube. If it's a Vimeo, you put the link right here and then you can choose associated files uh, connected with it. Now, it lets you move on to the next tab only when you put an actual link there. So we're not putting anything, just kind of going through. Then you have your uh, questions category. Uh, this is great too if you want to create different categories where your instructors can be able to ask questions from the students. You have the question bank. These are all the different questions that have been asked. So you go to new and you can choose your questions. Put the question here. You can choose the question type. You can choose the grading type. Is it for quiz, exercise, or feedback? And then you can choose the, the category to have it on there. And then you have to manage your enrollments. This is where you get to manage all the students that are currently enrolled. You can also add new students on there right here. And you can choose what access that they get you can enroll them and then you have enrollment field group this is the information that you want to collect when they are enrolling you can create as many as you need to and next you have your enrollment fields you have certificate templates so when they complete something you give them a certificate you can create and design different templates yourself it's very simple you just drag and drop some of this uh the replacement tag so whatever tag that you put here if you put in, for example, uh, student name, it's going to show this as a tag, but it's going to have the actual student's name when they're seeing it. So you can choose here from different templates. It's simple. You don't have to know code in terms of doing this. Uh, and then from there, you can look at a PDF. You can kind of preview it. So this is what it's going to look like. Certificate of completion. This is certified that the student's name has completed You know the course. And you can just give it to them. So that takes care of that. You can issue certificates. This is all the certificates that have been issued. You can create coupons for people to sign up. You can check out your order, how many orders that you have. You can see how many attempts that student took in terms of a specific course. You can see notification for templates. You can do reports, tools, and you can check your file download status. So again, this gives you a really good idea to see if this is something that can work for your business. So if you're university, you're an institution, you're a, a company that you want to offer courses to your employees, or maybe an entrepreneur that you want to start selling your own courses online, this is a really great tool for you to be able to use to get that done. And then finally, let's take a look at the price here. It goes for 12 months for $6.99 or for six months for four ninety nine, And it's an investment that you have to make, you know. I think that with all the tools that it has to offer with the support uh, that's going to be given, this is a pretty decent price. Uh, that if it's something that you want to take seriously, then of course, you know, uh, get the license. And if nothing else, you can try it out for six months. If it works how you want it to, no, nah, nah, don't use it. But if it doesn't work, then, you know, you can just not continue on. But you get the license, you get the access to the license, you have it. So, it comes with support but it's something that again i would recommend for anyone that is planning to start an online learning school if you would like to learn how to build professional websites with joomla without coding definitely head over to my website matthewtaming.com click on training and you can book a session get all your questions answered learn how to build amazing websites with joomla even if you've never coded before so i look forward to you signing up again this is live uh, one-on-one training. So look forward to you signing up.